here with Kirsten today, who was an Envirothon student not too many years ago. And we're going to demonstrate how to use the Biltmore stick and the Merit hypsometer, which allows us to measure the number of merchantable logs in a tree. This is useful as foresters make prescriptions on forest stands, determining how much lumber is available in the stand. So you know the value of the trees and the value that a harvest could produce. One of the most challenging parts about the forestry measurements for Envirothon students is that most of the tools require that you're a chain away from whatever you're measuring. A chain is 66 feet. It's a common forestry measurement. So the tools are set up to be used at 66 feet. But if you're at 60 feet when you're using the tool, you're gonna to get a false reading. It's gonna show more logs there than are actually in the tree. On the other hand, if you're back at 70 or 75 feet, it's gonna show fewer logs. As part of the test, you have to do that yourself. So someone on your team should be really good about making sure they get a pace down so they know what 66 feet is. One of the nice things about using the Biltmore stick and the Merit hypsometer is it says right on the tool how to use it. And 66 feet from the tree, which we measured off and we're there. Then it says plumb stick 25 inches from eye. One side, the tree scale stick has diameter in inches. Those aren't actual inches. Those are for measuring a tree. But on the other side where it says log scale stick, there are actual inches. So Kirsten can find 25 inches on there. Hold the Biltmore stick and the Merit hypsometer up to her eye and then keeping her hand in the same place, slide that. So now she's 25 inches from her eye. It's held at stump level. In other words, where the tree would be harvested and she's 66 feet away from the tree. Now she can measure the number of merchantable logs in the tree by lining this up with the stump height and then measuring up to an eight inch top, about the diameter of a paint can. Even though we're a ways away from that tree, Kirsten can tell eight inches or if there's a major defect. If the tree takes a sharp turn or it branches off or something to stop that log from being a solid clear log. What'd you get? Four logs. And I just want to show you also the Merit hypsometer. And it has the directions there, but these are the number of logs. So when Kirsten holds it up to the tree, this is how she measures the number of logs. Once you have the number of logs and you know the diameter of the tree, then you can determine the board foot volume of that tree. And so if we look at the tree scale stick, four logs, and the diameter of that tree is 24 inches. So how many board feet volume do we have in that tree? 723. One thing to consider about using the Biltmore stick is that you have to round down to the nearest half log. So if you're at three and three quarters log, you have to round that down to three and a half logs because when the tree goes to the mill, they can't add any logs onto it. They're gonna cut it down to that nearest half log. Doing the measurement, um, it doesn't take much time at all. So one thing that I recommend is having a few team members um, do the same measurement so that you can double check your answers.